Well, Tracy is a prisoner in her own home, not because of crime, but a putrid odour coming from the local tip. Like her neighbours, she spends her days behind closed doors and windows. 25,000 complaints, medical problems, all linked to the stink. What do we want? Stop the stink! When do we want it? Now! Quick, close the windows. The smell's around. Tracy Butler says almost every day she and her family have to hide inside because the smell outside is so bad. It's no way, way to live with our windows and doors shut. Mm. What do we want? Stop the street! When do we want it? Now! Today, Tracy and her neighbours have taken to a local park to protest. What is it like? What's it like, the smell? Putrid. Yeah. Imagine what, imagine what a, a nappy full of faeces smells like. It smells like that. Mixed in with compost and it actually burnt, burnt my throat yesterday and my, when I vomited, my lips were stinging. Home is Ipswich, 30 minutes drive west of Brisbane. It's one of the fastest growing cities in Australia, but it's also home to eight privately owned landfill sites. We've been here 15 plus years, and it's been going on that long. Well, it's not normal for people to wake up in the morning and vomit, or to have rashes, or to have respiratory issues just because of where they live. Um, I break out in hives, um, I can't really leave the house, my eyes burn, like I've got redness around one of my eyes now and like on my neck. It's almost impossible to prove, but residents like Michelle Kate are convinced what's in the air is making them sick. It's definitely impacting it and making it worse. It's prolonging me getting better, um, and it's just been horrible. Um, I can't go outside my house. Um, you know, you can't have friends over because of the smells outside. You have to lock up your house. It's absolutely disgusting, and enough's enough. Ipswich Mayor Theresa Harding says 42% of the state's waste ends up in her city and that some of the landfill sites aren't complying with environmental regulations. It's not fair. We need the waste companies to comply and we need a public health inquiry immediately. What do we want? Stop the stink! When do we want it? Now! In the last five years, there have been almost 25,000 complaints about the smell in this area to a government task force. And the Australian Cancer Atlas has found that the number of people being diagnosed with lung cancer living around here is at rates 47% higher than the national average. Is it because of the waste companies? We don't know. A public health inquiry would, would provide that evidence. It was a terrible smell yesterday afternoon, absolutely shocking. So you've got to close everything up, you can't leave even the toilet window open, you can't yeah. leave that open. Even those living in new estates on the city's outskirts say they're not immune to the smell. If there's an odour and you've got all new development around you, it shouldn't be happening. So they should just move, move further out. Yeah, sure, it's going to cost more money. It's going to cost them money to relocate. Bad luck. What is really disappointing is that the state government aren't doing enforcement action. Um, they should have uh, compliance officers there 24-7 ensuring that these waste companies follow the law. In a statement, Queensland's Environment Minister Leanne Linnard tells us her department is investing significant resources in responding to odour issues being experienced by residents. And that earlier this year, the department charged a waste company operating in the Swanbank area with several offences, including willfully and unlawfully causing an environmental nuisance relating to odour. <laughs> I'm just asking, we're begging the state government, can you just do the right thing? Can you come out here and do the right thing by the people of Ipswich? So when the odour's really, really strong, um, you twist to open and it'll suck in the air for about 20 seconds, you close it and then you fill out all the details on here. Yeah. The state government has issued some residents like Michelle with these canisters to collect air samples. Wow, so you've got to go through this process just to try and rate the air. Yes, <laughs> which seems a bit like... A bit far-fetched, makes me feel like a scientist. The government said Ipswich is a hidden gem. Yeah, you're damn right it's a hidden gem. Come here and live with the smell. Just gross, isn't it? Imagine dealing with that every day. So nearly half of the state's rubbish dumped in your backyard.